we're at the Doosan booth at IMPS 2016 meeting with Bison. Brett has just introduced a new double station bike to the market and we're very happy. We found him on Instagram and uh, he's using Destiny Anvils to make it. So we were hoping that you could tell us a little bit about how your experience has been with the Destiny Anvils and where you're using them at and your results. We're using a 5 8 Diamondback uh, Destiny tool to machine the slot through the body. Uh, we, re we removed roughly 20 inches, cubic inches of material every half an hour. The tool ran for six weeks and it still feels sharp. Wait a second, six weeks? Yes, six weeks. It ran for six, six weeks. Six weeks and it still feels sharp. Um, we, we also used some of the smaller tools on the aluminum jaws. On all the aluminum components, the doors, and we've had equal success with those. That's excellent. So this vice is a, this is the first time this is being shown. Correct. At IMTS. Yes. And it's it's in the diesel machines right next to us. Tell us about the vice. Double station vice. Yeah, it's a double station vice. We have a few different uh, models, as you can see here in the flyer. We have a double sta four inch double station, six inch. Our uh, horizontal column and a four-inch quad station, which is basically two four-inch uh, vices that are in one body. So the benefit of that is the, pr the price is less than buying two individual four-inch vices. The uh, big, big feature about ours is you're capable of using all four sides of the jaws with them being symmetrical. Uh, There's a lot of machinable area in here too. Correct. To yeah. Some of the, the, we have the other bikes that rotate more ways. Right. Absolutely. We have a very small no cut zone. Um, okay. The quick change attachments bolt in and out of the slide so that if if they were accidentally cut, they can be replaced. Instead of buying an entire slide assembly, you can simply buy the quick change attachment and bolt it back in and be running. Also, with it capable of being bolted in, you can rotate it 180 degrees so you, you can hold on the ID of something as well without the jaws. So ID and OD clamping. Correct, yes. Uh, the center jaw, also you can use four sides of the center jaw. Um, we offer jaws in a lot of different shapes and sizes. Um, another big thing is the body and the lead screw is fully sealed, whether the device is fully open or fully closed, as long as you leave a land, you know, floor on, a small floor on the jaws. The body and the leaf screw is always fully sealed. Um, now you were telling me that, that you're making this out of 400 series stainless. Correct, yes. The, the, the ways, ways are, right, the ways are heat treated, hardened stainless. Through hardened? Right, correct. And, and the lead screw is also 400 series Correct, stainless. yeah. All the internals, the lead screw, the couplers, the slides, uh, all the internals, the quick change attachment, it's all stainless screw. Looks like a great bike. Thank you. Um, thank you very much for using the uh, Destiny and those to do all this. We're looking forward to some more results. Uh, we've been talking, folks, a little bit about this, and uh, we're going to get some more video from the shop of these in production that we'll be sharing later on our news feed with an article. If you'd like to see some of the vices again, they're over at the Doosan booth, and uh, let me see if I can get a shot in here. Uh, Brett's vices are in use here on the on PM M5700, so they're in the cut. And once again, we'd like to thank, thank you. Brett for uh, sharing his advice and his experience with Destiny Tools. As always, we're looking for great stories uh, that you have with the Destiny Invest.